Back in 2015, my mom started carrying, and this is pretty much what the holsters looked like. They have squared edges, they're bulky frames, and with that being said, what she was doing is literally just sanding everything down, like rounding out the edges, and then one day she really went off the deep end, and she actually sanded the sight channel all the way down to absolutely zero, and that's where the breakout original came from, with that breakout open channel. And with that being said, she actually did that all the way from scratch because when she sanded these down to begin with, these screws there, they wouldn't hold up. They would allow the holster to shimmy and shake. So when she built it from scratch, she added riveted retention. So it's a fixed it's a fixed holster, but it's a two-piece construction. So that way it doesn't bend and flex whenever it's in the waistband. And that's where you're able to still get that really good retention while you're carrying, keeping the gun secure. But now, back in 2015, holster building was way different than it is in 2023. So the Breakout 1.0, it had a Kydex clip. It was fixed cannability. It had the Breakout draw option. Um, it was riveted. Um, but there was just that was wonderful back in 2015. And still to this day, we get phenomenal reviews and a bunch of people order them. But now with the Breakout 2.0, it has adjustable cannability. It has a double steel spring clip for a lot of security on the belt. Uh, you're still getting that Breakout channel and minimalist design, of course. And it also is compatible with other attachments like the Concealment Claw, so that way I can keep that gun tucked up against you. But that's kind of the origin story of the Breakout 2.0. Or the that's the origin story of Houdini holsters leading up to the Breakout 2.0. And if you want to get an exclusive discount on this on launch day, check out the link in bio. We're launching November October 30th. So thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful day.